woodland creatures. Blessings of the day to you. Fire rabbit here. Back at Camp Ribley. It's only been like 89 or 91 days since I've uploaded my last video. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. Got uh, a couple of minor things to do. Um, just doing a quick overnight. Got a lot of stuff. This whole, uh, I won't even say it, the whole C word has got the whole world all messed up. But uh, yeah, I was able to finally get out for an overnight. So here I am. Yeah, so we're just gonna boil up some water quickly. Uh, you noticed I have a turtle shell pack that I jerry-rigged up and brought here. Uh, the stuff is going to stay here permanently at camp. So I will have less stuff to bring up because it's, uh, it's getting grueling. But yeah, so uh, let's take a breather. Relax a minute. Get some water going. Get some coffee and see how much building I can get done. Uh, supposed to make a bed. Don't know if that's gonna happen now. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right now, got some crunchers. I'm gonna boil up some water for some coffee. Alright, so, let me turn that down. While we're uh, waiting for water to boil, let's take a look. Oh, it would have lugged up here. Not that it's uh, a bunch, really, but. I have a full tin of coffee. And if you guys will remember from my old videos, Brooklyn, my lovely daughter, I'm sorry, I'll buy you a new one. But this one's staying at camp. So, got another cooking pot. And, yeah. So, full tin of coffee. Fresh coffee filled right to the brim. I'm sure half of that will be gone by tonight. Sugar and coffee mate. Between these two things and a brand new percolator. These three, probably almost the heaviest out of this. Really happy about that percolator because now I don't have to worry about grits. Brought my shemog, bear mace that can stay here. Another tarp, just a small one. Uh, some clothes. This is for tonight. I'll bring it back. Same with my fire gear. Uh, that will be coming back with me. Long johns. It's a collar for my stove jack, which we'll get into after. Uh, some flex tape to help seal all the tarps. Socks. Rope that I didn't realize I brought, cool. My water bladder, which will be coming back. Oh, more toilet paper. I brought toilet paper, but I have other toilet paper. So I have plenty of toilet paper. You already seen that. Oh, my bus pass, that's where that went. Or my bus schedule. I have a small wool blanket, sleeping bag in my uh, wet bag, or uh, dry sack, whatever you call it, which will be staying here as well in the tub. And a oh, 
Sweet. Two spare packs of smokes. Um, and a, uh, a liner, uh, a sheet to line the inside of my sleeping bag. This is my old blue sleeping bag from the very beginning. I also have my poncho. That will be coming back home with me. And a garbage bag, because they're always good to have. Yeah, cool. Great arm. Well, that's just about it. I have uh, my stove jack as well. Which is the covering. Basically, uh, my buddy made, uh, my buddy who made me the stove also made me the stove jack attached to some tarp. Sorry, didn't know if you got that shot or not. But yeah, let's uh, be setting that up in a minute. That will obviously be staying. My uh, fully foam pad will be coming with me. But yeah, just waiting for this water to boil, which I think it's boiled. Right on. Let's uh, perk up some coffee here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So good. So good. Alright guys. Give me a minute. I'm gonna finish off this coffee. These Reese Crunchers. And uh, we'll get the uh, stove lit up. I've installed the stove jack already. I'll uh, show you that in a sec. Mighty, mighty fine coffee. So there's the stove jack. Attached with the tarp for me. Yeah. Very simply made. Yes, I will be moving that tarp pretty quick. But yeah. Simply made. Very much appreciated, Mr. Joseph. Thank you very much. Yeah. Is, uh, struggling a little bit <clears throat> to keep the fire going but we got her there we go. yeah got it going on Woohoo! still just kind of relaxing kind of chillaxing. I haven't really done much. Well, actually, that's a lie. I fixed the tarps. Fixed the tarps, added the stove jack, got a fire going, had some coffee. This is cool, I can see myself. But yeah. Just, uh, just having a grandioso time here. You know. It's almost dinner time. So you know what that means. Get uh, get something good on the go. Woo. It's 
starting to get dark now, so went out and uh, cut a couple trees while I uh, got the fire going. Yada yada. Just throw on some steak. My wife marinated me up a uh, nice little steak through uh, some basil and rosemary from my garden. So yeah, I think the uh, pan's hot enough now, so should be good to go. Mighty fine. Oh, that's the update. Here's the uh, my four logs. Had to go down the way a little bit, but I'm just gonna skin off of skin off the uh, little nubbins with the axe and uh, clear everything out and I'm just gonna lay it flat go grab some moss and uh, shove them in the cracks and then throw my uh, sleeping mat just over there throw my sleeping mat on it and that should be good enough but yeah everything's looking fancy dancy This video is going to be a little more cut and dry, more chit chatty, because all you guys have been complaining lately that I haven't been chatting much, I'm trying different things. It's, uh, in all honesty, it gets quite uh, redundant filming the same scenes over and over again. Although, I will say, once I have my shelter fully completed, I'll uh, get to do a little more crafty, crafty things. I mean, I've done so many shots, so many, so many shots of uh, Cutting down trees, dragging trees. It uh, it just gets old after a while. Um, yeah, I film coffee, making coffee, making food, <sighs> going to get water. That's pretty much what the bulk of my stuff's been. Also because I get so dirty, don't want to handle the cameras and yada yada. So anyways, this one's more vlog style. I'm giving you a, a vlog video for once, so can't complain, guys. Can't complain that uh, I'm not talking. Because I'm talking! Anyways, back to our regularly scheduled program. I got uh, a whole bunch of stuff to take out, so it should be fun. Steak knitter. Crack a lacking. Yeah. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Steak on the go.
And if you noticed, kind of, ow, show you in a sec. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Got the bed all made. Very crudely done. But it'll work. Yeah. Just yeah. Have a mistake. Making some more coffee. Yum, yum. Let's uh, find us a little bit of firewood. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. And yeah, fire is completely dead. It's just kind of laying around, still warm inside. So. Find something close. I just need, I don't need that much wood. Just a little bit. There we go. All sorts of little bramble. Do me, do me good. It's pretty dark out. Oh, it's pretty dark out there, eh? Well, that's bright. That's bright. Yeah. Anyways, let's uh, pick up some of this bramble, and we'll bring it back on over there. There. I'll just cut all that up and uh, put her on inside, light her up, and uh, finish the night. Yeah, good to go. Let's get this all cut up now. Guys, there's the bed all set up. Going down to Coles. Yeah. Finished my coffee and uh, gonna get all tucked into bed. Raining slightly, so I do have my tarp or a spare tarp and my poncho on hand in case I need to uh, cover up and then and block this off. But I don't think we'll have anything too crazy, so I think it should be fine. Yeah. Anyways, guys, catch y'all in the morning. Mm. 
not too shabby. My sleep sucked. Very uncomfy. Very, very uncomfy. Hey, coffee. Coffee. survived the night didn't have to put a door on or anything which is pretty cool you know Mahar so just made up some coffee got the fire going I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then We'll see. We'll see. Alright guys, that's it for this one. You know, it was uh, a little boring, a little straight to the point kind of thing, not too many camera angles and all that fancy footwork. Um, yeah, it was, I left, I started the hike at 2, I got here at 5.30, so it was, yeah. It was an hour extra than what it normally takes to get here. But I've got a bunch of stuff up here now, so... Yeah, after uh, getting here last night and then having to quickly whip up this uncomfortable bed, which three out of four of my logs are the same size. And of course, that one that's a little smaller is what ruined everything, so... I'll have to swap that one out next time. But, thank you for coming along with me and sticking it through on this one. Uh, like I said, new camera, so just kinda working with stuff here. And uh, the rain, I wasn't expecting. Uh, not that that's a big deal, but um, yeah, I had a warm sleep. I don't know if I mentioned that. It was warm, it was just uncomfortable. And yeah, so we've got, I'll give you a little idea of what we're going to be doing. Um, 
with the rest of this site now that this is almost completed. Um, I've mentioned last time I'm going to do kind of a uh, little hallway archway to be able to block some of this uh, big wide open area. I'm also going to work on building an outhouse down the way and there's a rock face just over more um, that has a nice little view so I want to make uh, like a little lunch fire pit outdoorsy kind of campfire spot and then I want to also trench a pathway um, that won't overgrow uh, to the creek and then I want to build some sort of little bridge nothing fancy but some sort of little bridge over the creek because my wood that I'm gonna to have to be harvesting is now gonna be for the most part on the other side of the creek because I'm getting tired of going all the way down the hill here and lugging them all the way back up. Uh, but yeah, I've got some plans. Stay with me. Um, it's, uh, I know it's been a while. I missed you guys. I hope you missed me. Stay with me um, and we'll, we will be making some stuff happen. Like I said, I was just kind of testing out the camera, being a little more talkative on this video because I have been lack of talking. Thanks for coming along with me on this one. Until the next time, follow the rabbit trail.